Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we'll talk about API token authentication using Laravel Sanctum. This way actually is my favorite and preferred way when uh, implementing authentication in my project and the reason behind this is uh, unifying the way of authentication. So I don't go to implement a specific authentication for SPA and another one for tokens maybe for mobile applications and so on. And I use only API token authentication. And if we go here inside the documentation of Laravel Sanctum here, we will see this uh, note actually that it's perfectly fine to use one of them, not using both of them. You are enforced to use both together as it's written here. So first of all here, uh, we need to install Sanctum if it's installed because in the uh, latest versions it's installed automatically and now we need to go our uh, user model here our user that implements or any model actually implements authenticatable uh, interface and we need to use this has API tokens trait if you notice here it's under Laravel Sanctum and if we open it here we will see that it has a lot of functions so here for example it has tokens and token can for abilities we will talk about it in this video and the most important one here is generating or issuing token function which is create token right and this one for current access token so if we go to here our database by default we will notice this table here personal access tokens and as we can see, it's a morph relationship or morphing relationships. So let's start implementing our first endpoint, which is login. So if we back here, I, ha I have created uh, this controller and here's our endpoint, this one here. And I have made it where it must be guest, right? For Sanctum Guard. So first of all, I will say here F, right? And I will say OS attempt here I will say email request email and also password using request password if not success through the zero message return a response JSON with 401 error try again for example right I have this user in my database by the way and here's my email and the password is password so if I go here and try again I will try with this endpoint my body here email and password if I send a request it will work and if I try to enter another data it will throw error for one and now it's time to create our token so I will say here's our attempt success. So I will say token here equal to us user and create token. When you go back again to our has API token, the name is required for this token. So I will say, for example, personal token. And again, here it returns new access token. But if you notice here while creating the token while storing it in the database, it hashed using SHA. So don't ever use this token value. And instead of that, if we access to a new access token object here or class, we will see plain text token, which is a usable token by front end developer or the API consumer. So instead of that, we will use this uh, plain text token here. And I will say here, plain text token and I will return it in the response. So token here will be our token, right? So let's try now, send the request again. And here's our token as we can see here. If we go to our database under personal access tokens, refresh user ID number one has this token, personal token. And if we notice the value is very different because it hashed using SHA. And now this expires at, by default, it's never expires. But if we go to Laravel documentation, actually, so here expiration, token expiration here, as he says, we must define expiration inside a sanctum configuration file and automatically will be work. But actually I tried it. So if we go to sanctum here, 
inside a config under config here actually I defined it to be for one day but still null so I think there is a problem with this uh, documentation part so instead of that we can make it manually using here our if we back again to create token we will see expires at right we can define it here so if I go back again to my controller and as a parameter here expires at I would say for example now for one day add day it accepts carbon by the way so if I back again and login again here now it generates a new token and in our database as we can see it will expires after one hour this is about expiration so what about last use the ad it's about it's about using token of this user so here also in my API I have defined this uh, endpoint right using us sanctum so user must be authenticated if we back again here I will say API stash user and I want to use this token here using us and it's a bird token right so I will put it here let's try to send it must return as we can see here the current authenticated user right so back again let me close it and send request using this token it must be get send and as we can see here it returns the current authenticated user so here here I think it's the same like authorization right bearer and let's make it none send and the same result what if we try to add or manipulate this token here it's unauthenticated and it doesn't work now it's used so if we back again to our database we will see here when we refresh this token used now by consuming this endpoint right another thing here is also abilities or something like uh, policies so this token can do if we notice here it, it's asterisk can do any action right can do anything without any restrictions to so if we want to specify abilities for this user to make something is according or by token we can define it here again here as a parameter called abilities by default he can do anything we can make it for example uh, so we can say here abilities show user and if we generate a new token here login again takes much more time let's see yeah actually it's a problem maybe here so I will unsend, unsend it so now yes it works so here this third token if we open our database here as we can see it has only one ability which is called show user how can we use this ability we can see here according to Laravel documentation token can method using token can method here right so I think we can use it also yes in the middleware of us as sanctum here we can say also abilities again here API as array here abilities show user and if we back again API slash user using this token here and to get I must send it let's check again yes another important thing also we need to do is adding these two middlewares to our kernel so I will copy and open our uh, kernel here for HTTP under a uh, app folder here I will add them to middleware allies yes here middleware allies right so now I will try again and the request and it works correctly what if for example we change for non-existing or another ability show all user for example send request and here it's forbidden not authorized last thing here is logging out or revoking tokens so if we back again here we can say for this endpoint again we can say log out right log out and we will say here current authenticated user a current 
access token and we can say delete this is the chicken in our has API token here yes current access token and also is the same like in documentation revoke yes current access token delete right so if we back again here using the same token and slash logout let's check our database yes we have three so it must be deleted this one send request current access token here has sorry it must be we must add the middleware again here right so the only one this one let's try again send and now it's logged out back and check our database and it's revoked or deleted here is quickly how to use sanctum api token authentication if you found it useful support me by clicking on lecture and subscribe see you next videos